Hi, Sam Villa here. I want to talk to you about a tool that I know that a lot of you out there love. That's a flat iron. There's three key things that you need to know about a, a flat iron. Number one is heat. Heat is your best friend. If you think about heat, that's what gets the hair to do what it is that you want it to do. You can change the direction of it. You can use a curling iron to curl it. But what's most important is that you control the heat, the temperature of heat. I highly recommend that if you're going to flat iron your hair and you happen to have color treated hair, I suggest you place your flat iron on medium. So control your heat. Number two is compression. Compression is how much you actually squeeze a flat iron. So if you have fine hair, you don't need that much compression. Why? Because the top layer of your hair shaft is already smooth. All you may be doing is adding more shine by using a flat iron or maybe taking a little wave out of it. So what I want you to do, if you have fine hair, your hand is lower in terms of where you place it. That's why you want to get a flat iron, like a Sanvia flat iron, that has length to it. It gives you room to place your hand. Watch, if I have wavy hair, I need a medium compression. So my hand now is placed in the center of the flat iron. You see what's happening is by using the same squeeze, the same compression, where I place my hand affects the compression of the plates. If I now, if you have curly or kinky hair, you're going to move your hand as close to the plates as you can without burning yourself. Now that's maximum compression. Nice light compression for fine hair, wavy hair, medium compression, natural curly or kinky hair, you want maximum compression. Now, I'm going to hand the flat iron to Olivia. She's going to go through and start to flat iron a couple sections. And let's see how Olivia goes in and flat irons. What's most important is the thickness of the section too. So let's say that she's already blow dried it and I can see what Olivia's doing. Is she's going through and just working primarily from mid shaft to ends. And then I notice that she goes through and she bevels it. See how she just kind of brings it right under. Okay, now one thing you have to be careful with, I'm going to turn you towards the mirror so that you can see where you're going. Go ahead and continue, Olivia. You're doing awesome. And what's really important, look, see how she took it? She can see her section and she comes through and she flat irons. What I notice is how, where she places the comb. Where you place the comb. Place the comb underneath the flat iron. And what's really important is you comb through that section before you go through and flat iron. That way you're not going to get any crinkles. Now, the one thing I'm going to encourage her to do is this. You must use product. So the product of choice in this particular case, Olivia, you cannot take a flat iron and just go over and flat iron over section. Remember, product is not an option, it's a necessity. This is Iron Shape 11. It's a thermal heat protector. So you have to remember, if you overuse a flat iron, my friends, your hair is going to get, lose its moisture and it's going to be very much like straw. It's not going to have any pliability to it. So when you tickle the hair, it doesn't move. It moves stiff. So I'm going to take just Iron Shape 11. We're going to come through. We're just going to mist just slightly. What I don't want you to do is mist too close so you get that sec section wet. When you get it wet, you're going to hear a sizzle. So do me a favor, spray your Iron Shape 11 at least six inches away. All right, now we're gonna go through, once again, Olivia, go ahead and take a section and flat iron a section. What we're gonna encourage Olivia to do is this. The sections are based upon the density of hair. The more hair you have, the finer the section. Now if you have fine hair and your density is low, you can afford to take a thicker section. Next thing is look at the comb. It's placed on the, but just below the flat iron. So what you're doing is you're going through and you're getting all those tangles out. If you don't do that, what happens, you could have a little bit of a tangle in there. Now you're just flat ironing that tangle in. Secondly, I want you to notice how slow she is going. If you go too fast, what you're not doing is you're not allowing the heat to work for you. So I don't want you to think this, my friends, that the hotter a flat iron is, the better it's going to work, the quicker it's going to work. But I want you to think about this. Number one, it's about you protecting your hair. With Iron Shape 11, a thermal heat protector. Number two, understanding that heat's your best friend, control it. Slow down to speed up. We think we need to go through a same section two or three times. If you slow down to speed up, you're gonna get that section exactly where you want it. Now once again, it's all about learning how to work with probably what is one of your favorite tools. But what I want you to be concerned with is how one of your favorite tools can go in and actually really create a lot of damage to your hair by extracting the moisture working with a flat iron. 
Once again, Sam Villa with a hot tip with you because at Sam Villa, we care about you.